Jun Singh. I will just make three points in response. It is always very sexy to say that we don't need to take care of our defense because we live in peace. Let me ask, in the history of Southeast Asia in the last 500 years, which country the size of Singapore, the composition like Singapore, that have survived more than 100 years? The answer is none. We are 45 years old. Will we beat the odds of history? We don't know, but we will try. As the Chinese saying goes, Ji An Si Wei. When we live in peace, we must always be prepared and never take for granted the peace that we have. The circumstances around the world, around our regions, are turbulent. We should not take it for granted just because we have seemingly peace in our midst. In my short time with the SAF in the last 20 years, there were many occasions where we have to stand our ground and stare down the competition in order for us to have the space to be called Singaporeans. So I do not think that we should take this lightly. The second thing, the second point I'd like to make, again, I start from a Chinese saying, 十年树木, 百年树人. It takes 10 years to grow a tree. It takes 100 years to develop a person. Building the SAF is a long-term process. It takes us 10, 20, 30 years to build up a SAF of what we have today. It takes one minute for other people who wish us ill to get angry with us and to threaten us. That is the difference. Things can just turn, and we have seen it turn in the history before. So we built a strong SAF with steady investment. We don't go up and down on a feast and famine strategy. We spend what we need, and we are responsible to the nation for every single cent that we spend to make sure that we do justice to the hard-earned money that we have invested in the defense and security of our country. And finally, if you ask any of the NS men that dutifully come back for their income every year, they know what they are going through. They know what they are up against. It would be a great injustice to think that they come back and maybe, as some people say, masa masa and that they are not doing anything serious. So I think we owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our nation to make sure that we do not get carried away by these populist sentiments. Defense is a long-term business. It is not a short-term business, and we must take it as seriously as we can. Going forward, our challenge is to make sure that we can continue to socialize and to share with our people the challenges in our security environment. Not all of this can be discussed openly in public, but to the extent that we can, like myself personally, I would share with my fellow commanders. And I'm proud to say that after they know what are the challenges facing our country always, they have never flinched from this, and they have never think that we will always be around without any effort. 